Real quick, we're getting very, very close to 20,000 subscribers. The goal is to reach it by the end of the year. We're less than 500 away right now. So if you are new here or you just watch these videos in the recommended and you don't subscribe, then please do subscribe so you don't miss any future content because if you like Premier League predictions and everything like that, you're going to want to see every single video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Full 90. Today, it is time for the Week 17 Premier League predictions. Now, there are still a few games to go in Week 16. Obviously, I'm uploading this on the Sunday, and all of the Sunday fixtures haven't yet taken place. But at the moment, we're doing really well this week with all six results going our way. We had Brentford to win 2-1, Man United, Man City all to win without conceding, Chelsea to win and both teams to score, Liverpool to win. We had Cristiano Ronaldo to score as well. So, so far, it's all going very, very well. I'm give a shout out to all the new members of the tf90 super tipsters member club we've also released an exclusive video this weekend there's loads of tips and everything like that so i want to give a shout out to mark key mark key project 101 clay winter nigel ndebele alex stavru a boss tanner stuck Anudo, Chilwell, <laughs> David Riz, and Nez. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry if I totally butchered your name, but massive shout out to all of the members. I hope you're enjoying the exclusive content, exclusive posts. If you want to get involved, then feel free to click the join button or the first link in the description. And uh, welcome to the members club. And I also want to give a shout out to Side Ali for leaving their predictions on the previous game week. Obviously, as I said, we don't know how the West Ham, Leicester, and Palace game went in their predictions. But other than that, pretty good predictions. Again, them also predicting all of the correct results and the Brentford correct score like we did here on the channel. So if you want to get featured in the next episode of the Premier League predictions, then please do leave your predictions down in the comments below. Now, let's delay no further and get on to the week 17 fixtures and predictions now kicking off we do have brentford up against manchester united now brentford they were worthy winners i have to say against watford even though it took them a late late penalty to get the win i thought they were by far the better team in that game and it deserved the three points in the end man united oh my goodness were they lucky against norwich norwich to be honest outplayed man united for vast majorities of that game a little bit frustrating my 2-0 prediction would have come in exactly correct had ronaldo not missed from five yards out but it is what it is he managed to get it over the bar it was behind him so like i said it is what it is i initially looked at brentford plus two on the handicap so that means they could lose by a goal draw or win and that would come in but the value was only 1.4. So I'm going to go for a different tip. My tip is going to be both teams to score at 1.8. And my score prediction is going to be 2-1 to Manchester United. I think they'll just they'll just have enough. I think the fact they played so badly against Norwich will kick them into gear to win this game. If they play like they did against Norwich against Brentford, they will lose here. Hence why my tip is not in the results market. It's both teams to score at 1.8. I'm going for a 2-1 Manchester United win. After that, we have Norwich up against Aston Villa. Aston Villa keeping Liverpool down to a 1-0 win. I think it was a respectable performance with all things considered, especially, you know, Liverpool are just doing really well right now. And Norwich, they were the better team against Manchester United. They had the better chances. They couldn't get past David De Gea. They can barely score a goal. And if they can't score when they play that well, they're going to struggle to score against an Aston Villa side who keeps games very low scoring under Steven Gerrard and keeps things very tight at the back. So I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Aston Villa. Uh, you could definitely go for the Aston Villa to win outright market i think the odds are 2.1 so i would definitely have a look at that but if you're looking for a little bit smidgen of extra value aston villa clean sheet at 2.75 you could double up with aston villa win to nil both teams to score no if you want to go a little bit safer in case norwich win to nil or it's a nil nil draw for, for example so my tip is aston villa clean sheet at 2.75 norwich are really struggling to score so i'm gonna go with that after that we have manchester city up against leeds i think this is going to be similar ish to the chelsea game leeds will know they have to try and score if they want to win this game i thought city were very very dominant in the wolves fixture albeit only winning one nil through a penalty i think against a team like leeds they'll be able to break through and actually score some more goals because wolves defense is very very solid so i'm gonna go for a higher scoring game this one 3-1 to manchester city and i'm going for the value tip again man city and both teams to score at 2.62 because obviously i could go for lower value tips like this weekend i could have gone I mean, Brentford winning both teams to score, I did go for that. But still, if we move past that, I could have gone Man City win, Liverpool win, Chelsea win, Arsenal win, Man United win. But all of those were like 1.5-ish. So in these videos, I try and bring you extra value because we got all of the results correct, which is a very good call. But I'm trying to bring you that little bit of extra spicy value. Speaking of spicy value, Brighton up against Wolves. Brighton, obviously, their game against Tottenham was postponed and Wolves lost 1-0 to Manchester City despite being on the back foot the whole game and despite being down to 10 men for the second half of the game. I thought it was a ridiculous dismissal, not in the sense that it wasn't justified, but Raul Jimenez, I mean, what are you doing, man? You're, you're a professional footballer. You're better than that. Uh, but I think this is going to be a 0-0 draw. 
I'm going to predict a nil-nil draw, and my tip is draw and under 2.5 goals at four. If you just go draw, it's 3.3. So the only difference between this tip, you go up to four, and it excludes a 2-2, 3-3, 4-4. Two, two, three, three, four, four. If it's going to be a draw, it's going to be nil-nil or 1-1 one, one at best. And that is encompassed in draw and under 2.5 goals at 4.0. After that, we have Burnley up against Watford. Watford, they came off the back of a loss against Brentford deservedly. They should have lost that game. And I think this will be a similar game in the sense it's going to be difficult for Watford to travel away from home against these sort of sides like Brentford and Burnley who love their home stadium. It's all about it's all about grinding out three points if they can at the home stadium. And that's what's going to make them survive. And I think Burnley are going to win this one. I'm going to go for a classic Deitch masterclass. Burnley 1-0 against Watford. My tip is Burnley to win at 2.05. It could be a 3-2 game. I know Maxwell Corne might be a doubt for this game, but I do think Watford have injuries themselves and illness themselves. I'm going to go for a Burnley win, Burnley 2.05. After that, we have Crystal Palace up against Southampton. Again, I think this is going to be another low-scoring, dull game. I think the better fixtures really are in the latter half of the game week, so... I'm going to go for a low-scoring Palace win. 1-0 to Crystal Palace. Southampton, even with the chances they made in the early stages against Arsenal, they weren't able to capitalise. They ended up getting soundly, deservedly beaten three goals to nil. I don't know the Palace result against Everton, obviously, but I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Palace. And my tip is, just in case it doesn't quite go that way, Crystal Palace double chance and under 3.5 goals at 1.75. So that could be 3-0 to Palace. It could be... 1-1 one, one. you know it's just Crystal Palace not to lose and there to be under 3.5 goals at 1.75 so that encompasses a 1 or 2 nil win for Palace a 2-1 win for Palace a 3 nil win a 1-1 one, one draw a nil nil draw so I think that's pretty good value there because I don't see Southampton going to Selhurst Park and getting a win or having a massively high scoring game now after that we have Arsenal up against West Ham Arsenal haven't lost to West Ham in the six previous meetings at the Emirates and they do have a very very good record at the Emirates this one is a little bit difficult because I don't know how West Ham performed against Burnley at Turf Moor. I expect they'll get the win. I do expect they'll get the win. I don't think West Ham are going to win here, but I maybe because I'm an Arsenal fan, I don't want to like jinx it. I don't have the guts to go for an Arsenal win. Do I go for... You know what? Uh, no, nah, I'm going to stick to a draw. I was going to go for a 2-1 Arsenal win, but I'm going to stick to a 2-2 draw. I think if West Ham do turn up, they do have the potential to cause Arsenal some problems. But then again, Arsenal's defence has been decent. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be kicking myself. But if Arsenal win, it's good for me as an Arsenal fan. If Arsenal do draw, it's good for the prediction. So I'll go for a 2-2 draw, Arsenal-West Ham. My tip is over 2.5 goals at 1.8. But I could see Arsenal winning this. So it's an interesting one. After that, we have Leicester up against Tottenham. Again, it's up in the air as to whether or not this one's going to go ahead. So I don't have a tip because I couldn't find any odds because this game isn't on some bookmakers and I didn't know what to predict. The Google win predictor has Leicester as favourites to win this game. And I thought at the King Power Stadium, with the situation Tottenham squad in squad is in, I actually am going to go for a Leicester win. Whether or not this game happens, my tip again would be just stay away like I did for the last Tottenham game. I don't know the Tottenham availability. I don't know the Leicester Newcastle result. Again, I think Leicester should beat Newcastle in a high scoring game, but they could very well draw. Newcastle could win. So for this, for the sake of this video, I'll go for a 2-1 win to Leicester. But again, I don't know exactly how that's going to go. After that, Chelsea up against Everton. Everton. Again, I don't know the result against Crystal Palace. It's what you've got to do over the festive period. you just got to kind of make, make do with what you've got. Chelsea managed to get a late penalty winner against Leeds. Wishing that was a late winner against West Ham last week because then I would have won £43,000 on a mega accumulator. But still, not that I'm salty about that or anything. I think Chelsea are going to win this game. I'm going to go for 2-1. Uh, Chelsea have been drawing 1-1 at half time on a few recent occasions. It was against Watford, I think it was 1-1. Uh, against Leeds, it was 1-1. I could see them drawing at half time and winning the game, coming on strong later in the game. So my tip is going to be draw half time, Chelsea full time at 3.75. And to be fair, for all of the big teams, Man United, Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, let's say they're the big teams in, for the sake of argument, draw half time and them to win at full time came in in every single fixture in match week 16 so it's worth a look because there's a lot of value there if you combine those four predictions before the game week you would have had odds of about 300 to 1 so i mean that would have been phenomenal if you picked up on that the final game liverpool up against newcastle I'm going to go for a high-scoring Liverpool win. Again, I don't know how Newcastle did against Leicester. Newcastle do have a good attacking threat. Uh, but my tip is going to be Liverpool win to nil at 1.8 because I've been burned a little bit in the last couple of weeks going with Liverpool minus one handicap or Liverpool and over two goals. And then it ends up being 1-0. 
So Liverpool's defense has been very, very good, but they haven't been scoring tons of goals in the league lately. So although I've gone for the 3-0 prediction and that could be, therefore, a minus one handicap and over 2.5 goals, I'll go with Liverpool win to nil at 1.8 just in case it's another 1-0 because with the way Liverpool have been defending and then getting the odd goal here and there late on, the odds look fairly good for Liverpool win to nil. So that is going to do it for the week 17 Premier League predictions. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any future videos. They're coming thick and fast. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the football and I'll see you in the next video very soon.